thank you very much and uh, welcome to our lecture on sustainable procurement strategies uh, this is a conversation that we conversation that we need to be aware of and um, this is a strategy that an organization adopts uh, in order to be able to succeeds around knowledge around sustainability so um, when you talk about sustainability uh, goals we We mentioned that in our previous lecture, and uh, this can be achieved by a life cycle assessment, where we evaluate the environmental impact of, of products uh, throughout the Sensible uh, materials whenever possible. <laughs> also discuss about what we call uh, uh, social responsibility and in social responsibility we integrate social responsibility factors like uh, number one ensuring fair labor practices number two uh, source from suppliers who uphold ethical labor practices and fair wages uh, another one around social responsibility is when we have conversations around diversity and inclusion where we partner with diverse suppliers eh? and the intention is uh, to be able to promote uh, inclusivity in in your supply chain so these forms of partnerships are are very very important also so we can have these engagements with other uh, like-minded organizations, like-minded uh, citizens. We can have uh, conversations on how to diversify our conversation or our activities around uh, diversity and inclusion, uh, conversations revolving on social responsibility. Then we have uh, what we call economic sustainability, uh, where we consider long-term economic uh, benefits. And uh, when you are doing this, we are seeking to build a strong supplier relationship. And uh, when we build a strong supplier relationship, we seek to foster uh, long-term partnerships with reliable and, and sustainable suppliers. Uh, we also seek to uh, be able to ensure innovation is taking place. Uh, we encourage innovation in, in the supply chain as, as organizations and also
whether they have the ability to continue to supply. So we are looking at uh, what is their financial stability, uh, what is the quality of their products, and, and so on and so forth. Also, uh, we look for certifications or awards that are related to sustainability. Uh, those are certifications around what we call international uh, certifications or ISO certifications. if uh, with the entire Uh, supplier collaboration uh, and this is going to involve the need of us working uh, collaboratively with, uh, with suppliers to identify, identify and implement, and implement uh, sustainable solutions Activities and issues uh, right. We can be able to get we can be able to get them right. So this collaboration, of course, benefits both parties. It is going to benefit the supplier, and it is also. footprints and and we are able to contribute to a more sustainable future yeah so there are dangers of uh, not going the sustainability way in the sense that we will pollute the environment Uh, we are able to attract environmentally conscious customers and, and investors. So we have uh, enhanced brand reputation because of sustainable procurement. The other one is improved risk management. So we are able to reduce uh, risks that are associated with environmental regulations. Once we put in place uh, sustainable procurement strategies, then any unexpected occurrences that are likely to happen uh, are not going to happen uh, because we we are undertaking sustainable uh, programs. Other benefits would also include uh, conversations around cost saving. Uh, sustainable practices are going to lead to uh, the saving of cost in the long run. Uh, 
This is done through energy efficiency or reduced uh, wastages. We also have another benefit in terms of innovation where we are able to focus on sustainability. We are able to foster innovation in, in the supply chain and also it leads to development of new, uh, more sustainable products and services. Uh, there is also the need for us to align its sustainability with overall strategy. And this is achieved through executive buy-in where we secure leadership support uh, for sustainable procurement initiatives. We are able to highlight the ally alignment with organizational overall sustainability goals and, and, and values. Uh, there is also what we call strategic integration. And when we are having strategic integration, we are able to embed what we call sustainable principles. We make them part of our procurement policies. We make them part of our uh, processes. We make them part of our uh, decision making. Yeah, so they are uh, very, very critical to be able to be embedded or uh, being made part and parcel of our of our policies. We also need to think of what we call crafting a sustainable procurement policy. Uh, so we uh, talk about a policy framework. Uh, we need to develop a comprehensive uh, policy in this comprehensive policy, we outline uh, uh, commitments to sustainable procurement and also having core sustainable principles. So once we develop these policies, it means, number one, it will be important for us to abide by them, adhere uh, by them, so that we are able to ensure that it is a thing that we are doing for the organization that is already set down and is guided by sustainable procurement policies. Because when you use sustainable procurement policies, uh, what are the benefits? Because in terms of the image of the organization, it improves. Uh, reputation, image is about reputation. Uh, more people are willing to collaborate with you, like we have talked about collaboration, and more people are willing to be part and parcel of a sustainable procurement uh, policy. Uh, uh, key considerations, the, the policies uh, need to address areas like environmental impact, uh, reduction through the supply chain, uh, material sourcing, uh, production, transportation, and so on and so forth. And also, there is need now to be guided by uh, setting what we call SMART goals. When we are talking about SMART goals, uh, we are emphasizing on the need for us to be specific, uh, measurable, uh, achievable, uh, relevant, and time bound. That is the extended meaning of the abbreviation SMART, uh, goals for sustainable procurement. Uh, examples, uh, we could reduce, uh, we are able to reduce carbon footprint uh, in the supply chain. Uh, this is by 10% within a number of years, two years, and we are able also to increase the percentage of recycled materials that are uh, by around 5% annually. So we want to continually, as we are having conversations around uh, sustainable procurement, then we develop or we, we extend the kind of products that we are using in, in, uh, in terms of recycled materials. Now, when we set uh, SMART goals, we are able to look at what we call performance indicators. 
where we establish key performance indicators that uh, we are able to track progress uh, towards your goals. Equipment and supplier diversity metrics, and then also uh, the need for us to uh, ensure we are engaging stakeholders for success. We ensure in terms. and avenues on where we can be able to partner with our suppliers. And finally, uh, there is uh, the need for uh, us to continue to engage That form of communication will demonstrate transparency and it is going also to demonstrate uh, accountability. So uh, that is going to bring us to Thank you. 